finally happened. We got to see you in a Dodger uniform in a real game. You get the single and, and you want the ball. Why was that important for you? Uh, it's just a new chapter in life. Uh, you know, that was the beginning and looking for uh, a lot more of those. You know, you have your sixth hole hitter drives in five. I know you've been a part of very talented teams in your past, but now that you get into a real game situation with you, this group of teammates, what do you think about? I mean, it's just, we're, we're deep, you know, the, the lineup is, you know, deep and it's just tough to really get through uh, this lineup, you know, without, without getting hit around a little bit. Cueto did a good job early um, and, you know, we, but we battled, we just battled and grinded through the whole day and, Finally, something uh, finally something clicked, and we were able to put up some runs. Dustin May finds out two days ago he's probably going to start in place of Clayton Kershaw. That's big shoes to fill. What was your impression of him? I realize you're in the outfield, can't necessarily see what he's doing, but just his performance tonight. I did amazing. I faced him not too long ago, so I knew kind of what what he had and how he was going to use it. So he did an amazing job, you know, on short notice coming in putting up a lot of zeros and he only gave up one. I mean, you can't really ask for anything more, especially with the, the offense we have. We should win a lot of games if, uh, if you know, they're, they're only scoring one. How would you describe the pulse of this team? I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to describe. I mean, it's just everybody's, everybody contributes. Everybody, you know, there, there's not one person that we're relying on. It's just, we're just waiting, passing the baton back. I mean, our guys are going up, putting up zeros. We're, scoring, you know, crooked numbers. It's just a, a full team effort. You can't ask for any, uh, anything better than, than what we have here. Last question from me, Mookie. What will you do with the ball? Uh, it'll go up in my house. Uh, and like I said, it's a, a new chapter. Um, you know, I'm super excited about uh, what's to come. And, you know, I'm glad uh, that monkey's off my back. Thank you for your Next question is from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead, Kerry. Um, Mookie, when, uh, when the National Anthem was playing and you were uh, kneeled down, there were two hands, uh, Max Muncy and then Cody Bellinger put their hands on your shoulders. What did that moment mean to you when your new teammates uh, showed that gesture? Uh, it's just unity. I mean, everybody's here. We're all on the same, same team. Um, you know, we're all here for change. And uh, it just shows you that uh, even their team, you know, even the, even the Giants did a uh, – Definitely tip my cap to, to them for the support. Um, like I said, we have a, a great group of guys here. We're all supportive of each other. And, um, you know, it, de it def definitely doesn't surprise me uh, that, that Belly and Munts were there there with me. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead, Alden. Hey, Mookie, what were the nerves like uh, before this game? Um, part of me feels like the butterflies might be there because it's opening day, it's first game with the Dodgers, but I'm not sure if maybe not having fans and just the weirdness of it all dilutes some of it for you. Yeah, I think, I think like you said, uh, I was definitely, the nerves are different. They're, they're, they're every game. So, I mean, that was nothing new. I kind of know how to handle that. But I would think just being in a new stadium, um, you know, facing a team that you don't get to see all the time, I think uh, – you know, that's why the nerves were there. But the, like you said, the fans not being there definitely helped dilute some of it. And my teammates did too. Um, everybody made me feel comfortable. And, um, you know, that's all I can really have. And Mookie, have you always been somebody who sort of collects keepsakes of things that you've done in game, whether it's baseballs or saving cleats or anything like that? Or, or was today different, requesting the ball? Um, I think I, I, I keep some things, uh, anything that's, you know, worth remembering. Um, I think, uh, like I said, this is a new chapter in life. And, you know, my first hit as a Dodger, definitely got to keep that. And I kept the lineup card. And so this is uh, something I'll always remember. Thanks, Mookie. Um, next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. And hey, Mookie, you mentioned uh, facing a new team. Do you, do you think it's going to be sort of a transition for you? Will you be studying pitchers maybe more than you have in the past? Just the fact that you haven't seen most of these guys coming from the American League? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's going to take a lot of homework, um, but, you know, that's what I'm here for. That's what, I'm, that's what I've always done, and that's what I'll always do. And so uh, you got to get home and, and give me a, a nice, solid hour of studying in on, on you know, who's to come tomorrow, and, you know, be ready. And just uh, do you plan on kneeling, uh, continuing to kneel, or was tonight just a one-time one thing? 
Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, I think uh, kneeling is, is definitely something that uh, shows, shows we need change, but also I have to put some actions into play as far as uh, away from MLB, and it's going to – that that's my primary goal. But uh, today was just to unify uh, both teams, both sides, uh, and, and just to show that uh, we are here for change. Thank you. One final question from Pedro Mora. Go ahead, Pedro. Hey, Mookie, can, can you explain how your perspective has changed uh, since 2016 when you said you could never see yourself kneeling during the national anthem because of your father's service? Um, you know, I think the, then, um, you know, I wasn't exactly sure. I, I wasn't educated. And that's uh, my fault. You know, I, I need to be educated on the situation. And, and uh, I know my dad served and uh, I'll never disrespect the flag, but there's also got to be change in, in the world. And um, the kneeling is, has nothing to do with, with those who served our country. Kneeling is uh, for, for the change that needs, for the injustice, should I say.